Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I am going to be checking out UV LED resin. Up until now, I've only used UV resin, the Pedico brand and the Miniature Sweet brand, both of which are favorites. The Miniature Sweet one does have a smell to it, but you should be airing out your workspace anyway and possibly wearing a mask, so I'm okay with that because I really like how this one cures. It is clear, it is hard doesn't leave sticky residue, and it is much cheaper than the Padico one. But anyway, we are not here to talk about UV resin, we are going to talk about UV LED resin. So, this is the Padico brand, and I love Padico. They come out with, I feel like, some of the newest resin stuff, and they have really high quality stuff. It's made in Japan, I just really trust this brand. And then I found this one. This is also made in Japan. I have never heard of this company, Dejiko. It is a UV LED resin, and this was 100 grams for 2,000 yen. This was 25 grams for 1,000 yen, so you can do the math. This one was a lot cheaper, so I'm hoping it works just as well as the Padico one, but we're going to compare them both. But anyway, you're probably wondering what is LED resin, and I had these same questions as well. UV LED resin can cure under a UV light and a UV LED light, and of course sunlight but with the LED light, it only takes 30 to 90 seconds, which is a lot shorter than what I do. I usually do about three to five minutes for my UV resin. We're gonna give it a test because faster curing time means faster crafting time. If you've seen my UV resin basics video, you will know that I have multiple UV lamps. This is the Padico one, and apparently this is a UV LED lamp and it's a six or nine watt lamp. So with UV resin, that's not quite enough power to give it a full solid cure, so I would use my 36 watt lamp, but I think for the LED resin it's going to work better. I have a piece of shrink plastic here and I'm going to write P for Padico and R for Dejiko. We're going to start with the Padico resin. I'm just going to do a little dab. Next we have the Dejiko, so I'm going to put a dollop here. Oh, this one seems to be a little bit thicker in consistency, but resin does tend to get thicker in the winter. Here they are. I'm not going to move them around too much because they are uncured, but they both look very clear. Like I said, the Regical one seems to be a little bit thicker in consistency, but we're going to try to give it a cure. I guess we'll try for 30 seconds. I'm going to give it the touch test. Probably should not do this with my bare hands, but hopefully it'll be okay. Oh wow, it is cured. And this one has a little bit of residue, but I'm gonna stick it back under the lamp. It said up to 90 seconds, so I'm gonna do like a minute and a half. But what I'm noticing with this one is it's starting to look a little bit cloudy. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that could be an issue. Okay guys, I cannot tell a lie. It has been a few days, but I have a solid cure. Maybe because it sat out in the sun for a while, but it is fine, no stickiness at all. Now, the cloudiness I was talking about, it is there. I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell, but it is slightly cloudy. So for clear pieces, this may not be the greatest resin. So we're going to give it the color test. So I am going to pour some in here, enough to fill the mold. I'm going to put one drop, two drops of the Padico pigment in. Let's go with one for now. And I'm going to mix. Oh yes, this resin is definitely a lot thicker than the other one and the UV resin that I use. For this one, I'm going to take the Padico resin and it feels like a little bit of a waste, but this is for science, for my own curiosity. I'm going to put a drop of red, pink, pink in this one so we can tell them apart. I am going to do a little swatch test. So here is the particle. I will go over this with a lighter to pop any air bubbles. I will go over this too. Let's cure. Look at what we have here. Oh wow, it's very hot. Okay, so this is the particle and there are bubbles on the surface because I failed to pop them and wow this is very hot. I did not cure the back side but it seems to have a pretty good cure. I should flip it over and cure it so that is not a resin problem. 
This one, though, we have issues. So, well, first of all, it does not have a good cure at all. There are massive air bubbles and what seems to be some shrinkage. So I am going to go ahead and flip the mold over and give it another cure. Alrighty then, let's see what we have here. Still not a solid cure. <laughs> it almost looks like a shaker charm. So it is cured, but there is a massive air bubble in it, so that would not work as a charm. We're gonna give that another go. This one is perfect. So as always, Pariko, the golden child. Lejiko, we're gonna take a closer look at. Here are the colored swatches. You can tell that it is obviously cloudy. We are going to give Dejiko another go. I'm going to do one clear and not stir it or anything. I'm just gonna let that be and see if the air bubbles form. And in this one, I'll do a drop of pigment. I will take a lighter to it, pop the bubbles on the surface. Because it is thicker, they are a little harder to pop. I'm gonna zoom up here so you guys can see really well, and there are no big bubbles in either pieces. So, let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Here we are after the first cure, and can you tell the bubbles are moving around inside the resin? And yes, bubbles did form. What I noticed was that it shrunk almost instantly, and I think the air seeps in through the sides and gets under, I'm assuming the difference between the colored and non-colored is that since there are already bubbles in the resin, it's more easier for them to form rather than leak out the side maybe? I'm not sure. But also, not a solid cure. The surface is not sticky at all though, so I'm gonna flip it over and try to get a proper cure. Let's see how it did. Well, the bubbles are not moving around anymore, and it feels hot on the bottom. Let's pop them out. I don't know if you can tell, but this shrunk quite a bit. There's a lot of room on the sides here. As for the cure, it's great. Now this one seems to be cured, but I think the shrinking is going to be a problem for this resin. I assume it's probably good for doming but maybe not for charms like this. Well, I am glad we got to check that out. Pariko, definitely the best, and I'm gonna have to look into other LED resin brands. But this one, I guess made in Japan doesn't necessarily mean that it's great. Let me know if you've tried UV LED resin before and what you think of it or if there are any brands that you prefer. And I will be back. I'll make some charms and pieces with these. We'll do like a proper video with them instead of just, you know, a test and review. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. It really helped me. I know not to buy this next time. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them or look up answers. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!